let us see a demonstration of how to build a lab. Before reaching to this point, I have installed VirtualBox and spinned up a Windows 7 virtual machine. The step-by-step -step instructions to do so is found in the resource section of this lesson. We have this Windows 7 machine up and running now. But before turning it into a sandbox, we need to download the tools used for malware analysis. Because we have configured the network settings in either NAT mode or bridge mode, we do have internet access on the virtual machine. This will help us in downloading the tools and the malware sample. I have already downloaded and installed Firefox and WinZip software on this virtual machine. Now we will start downloading the tools one by one. I have saved the links of all the tools in a text file here on desktop. These links are shared to you in the resource section of this lesson. First, we will begin by downloading HashCalc. Then we will download HXD hex editor. Third tool required for malware analysis is exe info pe. Then we will download UPX software. Followed by a tool called bin text. We would also need PE Studio. Then we will download Process Monitor or Procmon. Next is RegShot. Followed by Auto Runs. We will also download proc dot. And finally, download the fake net. At this point in time, we will also download a real malware sample. This sample is password protected. The link to download this sample is provided in the resource section of this lesson. Now that we have downloaded all the necessary tools, let's disable internet connection by removing the network adapter. To do so, we will go to the settings of the virtual machine and network tab. Here we will select not attached. To be double sure, we will disable the network adapter in the operating system as well.
we can verify that the system does not have an IP address or the internet connection. Here it also shows that the system does not have internet connection by this red X mark. Final step in converting this virtual machine into a sandbox is to disable the default antivirus that is Windows Defender. Antivirus will stop the execution of some script or might even detect the file as malware and delete it. But our intention is to study the malware to understand what it is trying to do. So let's get AV out of our way. We are now ready with our malware analysis lab.